Hey guys, welcome back. Technically, it's been a long time since we posted a wiffle ball video. But the reason this season got cut short last season was because it started to snow early. And I know what you're thinking. Saints hat. Man, Saints hat. Okay, I do not live in New Orleans or Louisiana, okay? Give you a hint. Um, so, it did start to snow early here. And we were unable to finish the season. So, this is what I am doing. So, we are launching a new season this year. A spring through some of summer league. Once all the snow melts, obviously there's snow, we will start the league. But here's the catch. We added a new team. And instead of having, and we had, yeah, we added a new team, okay? But we might, not 100% yet, we might have 10 or more players. Not on each team, but 10 players. So, two for each team. That's eight. And then we'd have a, we'd have two, sorry, two remaining players that would be either free agents that you could sign be a third player that would be technically like a backup but they would be in your batting order and or you could they would just sit in free agency that's how it's going to be and so the new team name if you guys remember from last season we have the first team name one of the teams the team I was on the Rhode Island Roadrunners the second team was the California Tide, and the third team was the New Jersey Yellow Jackets. And the fourth team coming into the Little League, National Little League Wiffle Ball season is the Seattle Strikers. The Seattle Strikers, I've been debating between a lot of different team names, and the one that fits, just that just sounds the best and is in a fit, is the Seattle Strikers. And this year... We are actually able to have four teams. We're going to have two conferences. We're also going to be adding a few other things that you'll see later. I'll give you a hint. All-Star Game. And awards. So, get hyped up for the season. And see you when the season starts. Or give you some updates about the season.